don't despise because this is important guy. Tell us to wait out here. Okay, come on. Okay, how the fuck did I end up here? 12 a.m. in the middle of Baghdad, Iraq, in a $200 suit, following a stranger down a dark alley to supposedly meet the ex-finance minister under Saddam Hussein. Or was it all just a charade? Were we used for Iraqi propaganda? I don't know. So maybe you can watch this whole video and help me make ends of it. Regardless if this interaction was genuine or orchestrated, what I do know is that this guy, the guy who suited us up and brought us out, he was dishonest, possessive, and overall, very sus. But I'ma let you make your own impressions. All right, here's the video. Fuck. We're out here getting absolutely fitted by my boy Ahmed over here. Ahmed, can you no. tell the people who you are? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just your friend. I don't care about my rank, my job. I'm just your friend. He's a very okay. important man. He's not at liberty ah, to say. No, no, he's just a liar. <laughs> Nobody believe him. He's a liar. <laughs> His occupation is under wraps right now, but can you at least tell the people what we're doing today? We will go to Saddam his palace. After that, we will go to Hajj Hussein, his big chow hall in Iraq for Iraqi food. So we need to get suited up in order to go, because it's a fancy place, yeah, huh? Yeah, because we, we need to go to Iraqi government, and maybe we'll meet the Iraqi prime minister and uh, U.S. Uh, ambassador. Oh, and in order to go to U.S. embassy, it's U.S. embassy we're yes. going? We gotta look spiff, so, I mean, I'm not one for fashion, but this was just calling my name. He said I have to wear it with the white. We have to wear it with the white because I'm a pale guy. I say, what do you, uh, kind of uh, woman you like it, Canada or America? With a mug like this, I take what I can get. <laughs> he said the American military forces, them come to his houses, them take in, them take his weapon. He say, we want my uh, weapon. Come to America, get all the guns. We have all the guns. Yeah. This guy, look at him. What a sharp 21 looking year old Iraqi gentleman. <laughs> Finally <laughs> tripped. <laughs> is, this, is this a moment? Are, are we falling in love? We're getting fitted with fresh kicks. We're kind of just along for the ride at this point. Uh, Ahmed is being an absolute sugar daddy. And copping everything for us. Like, this is a man of power. We got tea, and this fine young gentleman stopped to talk with us. Oh. Quickly, like, what would you say to people who want to come here to Iraq? Yeah, anytime, like, all, like, our homes are welcome or, like, open for you guys. The situation here in Iraq has been improved recently. <laughs> so just come, just enjoy. Especially nowadays, the weather is perfect. People like you have been so welcoming, and they just make no. me feel, feel good about being here, especially whenever people say it's a dangerous place, but I haven't felt that at all. Shukran Jazeelan. This is coffee? Yeah, coffee, like but the sweet thing. Oh. Yeah, it's sweet and it's like thick and it's like almost like vanilla like. Wow, this is so good. Yeah, I hate to interrupt, Ahmed is meandering away. Oh yeah? Is it time? Okay. Do you have contact info? Absolutely. Here, number and WhatsApp? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I think Iraqi people are some of the friendliest people on the planet. I'm serious. You exaggerating, dude. I'm serious. See ya, bro. Nolan. Yes. Uh, corner. Yes, listen to me. Okay. For security situation, don't believe any guys he talk to you in English and he's still with you. Okay. Maybe them have some group, them some doing something. So be careful. Don't give your phone to any guys. Don't go walk with any guys. This is my country and I know everything what happened here. You understand, uh, Ronan? But, um, isn't that exactly what we're doing right now? Huh? To be fair, I, I'm, I, I talk to, don't believe any guys, like this guy, who is this, this guy, he talk to you, he take your phone number, why he won't talk to me, why he need talk to you? Uh, I don't know, I think we're just foreigners and he's interested. Uh, you don't know the Iraqi, you understand Nolan? I, I totally understand. I'm, I'm doing this for yourself, not for myself. No, but Ahmed, my point is that like, I don't understand how you're telling me this whenever we're doing exactly the same thing with you. You were someone we just met in the street, we got your contact information, and now we're hanging out with. So, I'm an officer, I know all information in the streets. What you are telling me not to do, is it exactly what we're doing with you, you know? Yeah, like, we meet you, we got your number, we trust you, so I, it's a little hypocritical. I work with the USMBC. Yes. I'm, uh, I have American citizen, all of my family of them love you in the United States. So, yeah, if you want to uh, call the US Embassy and give them my number for them know who I am. Yeah. So this is guy, the Embassy, 
the Canada NBC, US NBC, they don't know who is this guy. Yeah. You understand? I, to I totally understand, but at this point, those to me are only words, you know? I just don't know these things. I've only heard them from you, I've only heard them from him, so. Yeah, I, if we talk to you in phone, it's okay, no problem. I don't uh, go with him anywhere, for security. Guys, this is literally insane. Fools like us were not meant to go to palaces and potentially meet the president of Iraq. Um, I'm waiting to get my tie done up because I'm trusting Connor with this. But yeah, we're done up, ready for a formal ball. I have no idea what to expect. Right now we are with Ackman's personal driver in his secured community. Um, Going to the palace. Looking sharp. Yeah, we're looking like a million bucks, mm -hmm. honestly. That's a good job. Achman, you have to understand that on a day-to-day -day basis, I am a, a bum. Like, I am a broke backpack. He's flipping me off. <laughs> That's not cool. Well, I'm trying to compliment you that um, you've done some work on me. I, you made yeah, me presentable. Yeah, yeah, this is my security guard also. What, your security? It's not cool. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Hello. There's more of Ahmed's personal security guards. How many guards do you think you have, Ahmed? I have a 20. Wait, wait. You have 20 security yeah. guards. Wow. It looks lit out there. The streets yeah, of the Baghdad are fucking lit. Like everyone just <laughs> smoking. Is coffee. We will come yeah. tomorrow here. I would love that. We don't need the suits for that, do we? Yeah, no suits. Wait, what yeah. are the suits for tonight, Ahmed? Because uh, it's good thing for you when you take picture when the people look at you, uh, the security guard in the palace and anywhere. If them say uh, you have a suit, a nice uh, uniform, then we'll say okay. <laughs> Gonna take some Andrew Tate esque looking pictures. We need cigars, yeah, bro. Yeah. Some top no, no. G moments in Baghdad. No, no. What a modern looking city. What a modern looking man. I feel out of place with this suit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there, I'm gonna get so many eyeballs. <laughs> I'm going home with an Iraqi wife, ain't I? It's the Saddam's Palace. It looks like the entrance to a casino. It's a huge compound. Yeah, it's a big one. It looks very well maintained, actually. I thought it'd be like destroyed. Shukran. So I guess it's a whole complex with shopping malls and restaurants, hookah bars. Um, we're pretty cladly dressed compared to everyone here. Everyone here is dressed nice, but I'd say we're the most cladly dressed. And apparently in Saddam's Palace, you also find an arcade uh, with bumper cars. Oh, and Bumblebee. You guys, what in the devil is going on? Honestly, I don't know if I'm buying it. I, I, I don't know if this is actually Saddam's palace. I don't know what to think of it. I think it's just a fancy, posh place. I think it's just a retail and restaurant area. I don't know what's going on. Bro, as much as I think it's dope that he brought us these suits, like I, I just don't like wearing them like out in public. Like I feel like he was just trying to dress us up as like his little pets, like. I just want to wear my normal clothes. Like we're in the middle of Baghdad right now, in a darn suit. Like, Ooh. the adventure continues. I don't know. I have no clue what this night has in store. We're just following this man everywhere in our suits. Does our imminent death await us? I have no clue. Don't smile because he's important guy. No smiling. Okay. Uh, he is the deputy minister of Iraq. Yeah. Okay. Finest. Wait, wait. Oh, fine. Okay. Right, we're meeting an important politician right now. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. And this is why. This is Allah. Ah, uh, praying. Okay, good, good. Sussed out. Sussed. Okay, okay. Okay. Habibi. I'm not sure if we're about to join a cult or not. I have no clue what's going on. 
<laughs> my friend from Baghdad. Thank you. 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 Thank because I'm crazy. No, he's nice. He's nice kid. I don't like them. Why? Because them talk much. Well, no, they they're talk. okay. They're okay. Yeah, this is not good. Now we like talking to people. Little Mexican kids, they see you, they go, fuck you. And they think it's funny, you know? Trust me. Now we like talking to people, man. If people want to talk to us, we talk to them? No, don't talk to them. Why? We can't talk to people? You talk to people for what? You know, I, I travel... Because I want to meet people. I don't travel to see it's okay, to see the here, Taj Mahal, yeah. to see Petra. I travel because I want to meet people. Uh, I'm from Afghanistan. You're from Afghanistan. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Are you living here? Are you still living Afghanistan? Afghanistan? I'm working here. You're working here? Yes. Are you from Afghanistan? Yes. Yes. How are you I doing? Do. How are you? How is your Are you here? from Afghanistan? The yes. American come to Afghanistan and give uh, the government to a Taliban. Ah. His, his, your oh. government. <laughs> <laughs> He's American. He's just uh, joking. He's yeah. American. This is good. I'm American, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, perfect, perfect. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Are too. you um, living in, in Iraq? Uh, no, I'm working here, but uh, for living uh, now, there is no uh, good situation for us. In Afghanistan? No, in here, in here. No, uh, why not, not good uh, situation? I'm a police officer. The situation yes. is very good. No, no. Why we'll you say it's not good the situation? I the swear. situation is very good here. I swear, I swear. There is no good situation for Afghanis. Uh, why? Because, because, they because don't, you don't have visa. Yes, yes. Yeah. This the, is not situation. The main problem. The, we, we mean about situation, the security, the mm. situation. This yes. is not good for you because you don't have visa. Yes. If you the Iraqi government them give you visa, everything is good for you. No, so you need make you go to Iraqi government, you talk to them, you will say, I'm from Afghanistan, I don't have visa, I need to still here. Then we'll give you a visa. But I Believe have, me. Uh, but I have documents from United Nations. Yes. yes. Uh, okay. It's not a problem. It, it's worth like you uh, want, You want, you want uh. to go to Al Qaeda area. You want uh, say I need a visa from Iraqi government. Then we'll give you, and you will stay here. No, Believe no. me. Be I'm, I'm a police officer in Iraqi uh, government. I will tell you the truth. Tell me, tell me, my friend, my friend, my friend. I have a genetic Iraqi and American. I'm Iraqi and I know Iraq all the time. I told him I have two uh, citizens, Iraqi and American, and I know the situation here. Situation for Afghanis uh, here is better. Because, better than Afghanistan. Yes, mm. because uh, in Afghanistan there is war and uh, not good situation for living. Mm. Here is better. Listen, yeah. there's some people them come shoot you, them shooting to you. Them. Why they shooting me? Because you say the situation is not good. No, no. I, I you say the situation is not <laughs> good. He means for his visa. He, yeah, the situation Maybe he's like a second class him, citizen. Or... I say for him that the economic situation is See, very I'm a police officer. I don't, I don't bring my gun with me. See, the, uh, the security is safe. Sir, look, it's my United Nations uh, uh, car. Uh, I know, oh, I know. Uh, you you know listen, listen, listen. Okay. There is no problem. It's what like... You, it's what, listen, like my friend, my friend. The situation is good here or Afghanistan? Here. Here is perfect. Mm. Then the Afghanistan here is better, but uh, then the other right. countries here is not. I was with the special force in Afghanistan, and uh, when it's like the, the army kind of maybe. Yes, it's the army. When the Taliban came, uh, I escaped from uh, I escaped uh, from them here. Why? Did why you did leave? you leave when the Taliban? Afghanistan. Why did you leave? Why did you go? Because it was dangerous when the Taliban took over. You leave because of danger. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because uh, my life uh, was in danger. In the government of Taliban, uh, they are killing. They are yeah. killing all that uh, persons that worked with the uh, pre previous uh, previous government. Ah, yeah. Yes. So you worked for the special forces. So your yes. life was in danger. Yes, my so life was. in you came somewhere where you were in danger. Damn, dude. Yes. Well, I'm glad you got out, bro. Uh, uh, dude, like, That's awesome, man. I'm glad Fucking you're awesome. Here. I'm glad to meet you, man. I'm yeah, glad bro. to meet you, too. Uh, get, yes, get home right, safe. Right, 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 right. Okay, bye. -bye. Do you want to go first or should I? Uh, you can go, dude. Honestly, I get sus vibes. I don't think he's truthful. A lot of things he says. I he said, number one, he was like a, a con uh, consultant to politicians, and then he said. He had did some other shit, owned some businesses, and then he said he was a police officer. Yeah, so. no, I, I, I can't say I trust him. Like, I felt uncomfortable. I don't think we went to Saddam Hussein's palace today. Like, I think that was just a commercial area for rich people. It was a place where people were in tracksuits. Like, 
dude, this isn't shit I like to wear, you know? Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel comfortable today being out in public, like, just looking like his fucking pet with these fucking fancy suits on, dude. Like, I, I think, I feel like I sound like an entitled asshole right now, but it's just like, dude, like, he just didn't ask if, like, this is cool with that. Like, he just put the suits on us and shit and bought them. And it's like, okay, I thought we were doing something like going somewhere important, like maybe meeting some of those people or going somewhere exclusive, like the embassy, like he said. Right, right, but right. literally all we did was went to a fucking shopping mall. <laughs> like, I, I don't feel comfortable in this shit, like, out in public like that. Like, yeah, we just, people were definitely giving us It's fucking stuff, weird, like, man. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, dude. Like, I, I know you like him more than me, but, like, fuck, dude. Like, I just, I, like, no matter how much he could fucking spend on me, one, I just don't like shit. Like, I don't like fucking... Clothes. I don't like buying clothes and shit. Like you could buy me every everything, and I just wouldn't want to like hang out with him. You know, like I didn't yeah, like yeah, the yeah. way he treated that fucking Afghani kid. The thing about us, like what we do when we travel, is we fucking go around and we talk to people and we get their story. You know, and we couldn't talk to ev anyone today. He gave us the fucking gears. Even saying hi to people at the window, he's like, "Don't fucking say hi." They could be ISIS. They could have fucking guns. They could shoot you. It's like. It was like a bit possessive at times. It was, dude, and it's just like, dude, I, I can't be fucking bought over. Like, regardless of like all this nice shit, if he fucking takes us out for dinners and shit, like, I don't feel great around this guy. Like, I like sometimes he's funny and we laugh and shit, but like, I don't know. He just made me uncomfortable like many times tonight, and like, dude, I, I meet a lot of people while traveling, and like. I fuck with the ones that are just like homies. They don't have to fucking buy me shit. They don't have to do anything for me. But if you're my fucking yeah. homie and I vibe with you, like, that's all I fucking want from you. I don't want fucking... You can spend the world on me. If I don't fuck with you, like, I don't fuck with you. And, like, dude, I just don't want to hang around people I, I get... I'm uncomfortable around, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. It's the next day, and I think me and Connor have come to the realization that... We might have been just used last night for propaganda. We went to the supposed financed minister of Iraq's home and like we had two sips of tea and then he's like, okay, get up, take pictures. We took pictures with him. We took pictures with his kids. We like, we took all these fucking pictures and that's all the pictures we took the whole night. Mm -hmm. Like, and he told us to put on these suits cause we're going to this special place, Iraqi palace, you know? But I feel like that was the lie that made us get on the suits. We were super convinced we didn't see Saddam's palace. We saw a fucking shopping mall. So we could take fucking <laughs> pictures with this fucking finance minister. Because now we have not heard from fucking Ahmed. We've not heard from Ahmed. Like he was saying like, we're gonna do all this shit later in the week and we aren't hearing from him now. And I, I feel like low key is kind of like, he switched up after that. I feel like it could be like a business scheme. Like, oh, look at these American finance guys. They come over here investing in Iraq or some. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's all very bizarre. If you want to make friends with someone, like, yeah, buy them lunch first. Literally, we, we talked to this guy on the street for maybe two minutes. And the next day when we met up with him, the first fucking thing we did was go buy fancy ass fucking suits. <laughs> Think about that, dude. Looking back, it was bizarre as fuck, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is just a fucking conspiracy theory. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys see us in Iraqi propaganda, let us know in the comments. Please. 